continuing with architecture and a uh, well troublesome uh, set of concepts um, uh, in uh, a number of ways. Um, first off, the idea of the trusted computer platform. Uh, um, now, um, uh, this uh, is sometimes tied into the execution domain and, and you know, what, uh, what you can allow to execute on, on the computer, but um, it's, it's extended um, into basically what you um, can trust and, in, in a sense, what you have to trust in regard to the construction of the computer and, and its operation, um, where you have to start putting extra security in, in place because um, you, you can't fully guarantee that this is, uh, you know, that this is trusted. Um, the, the lower levels, the basic levels, this is, this is what you have to trust because, you know, you're getting a computer, you don't build your own computer. I mean, I know how to build a computer out of transistors, even diodes, but I, I doubt that many of you do. Um, the, uh, you know, everybody buys uh, their computer equipment these days, and, and unfortunately, um, in, in sort of two directions, we, we have a problem here. One is that um, the, uh, what we... What we have to trust has become larger. With the increasing power of computers, uh, the increasing speed of computers, um, which has uh, resulted from our um, integration of, of more and more components at smaller and smaller size, so that you can have an entire computer on a chip, in, including multiple CPUs and even memory, uh, on a single chip these days. Um, these, uh, you know, it, we, we have to trust that. It's, it's on a single chip. You know, how many of us have even the, you know, the tools? Uh, basically, you've got to have an electron microscope these days to read the circuitry and, and then to try and trace it and figure out, you know, what is this actually doing? Um, and again, you've, you know, if you're going to do that, you've got to know how to build your own computer from the the basic components up and and so nobody does that everybody just trusts it but at the same time what we can trust is becoming smaller because we have got uh we have had a number of situations uh sometimes where there is simply an error there was the uh, pentium fiasco of uh, a few years back where um the uh, the Pentium was not, in fact, uh, doing calculations properly. And in, in most cases, that was not an issue. But in, in certain situations, it would get wildly incorrect answers um, if you were trusting what the, the Pentium uh, was, in fact, telling you. So um, uh, that's, that's one thing. But we have also found um, in electronic components from... Uh, certain localities that, that certain uh, nation-state actors are um, influencing uh, their manufacturers to include uh, certain components in the in the circuitry on the chips on uh, you know uh, different components in different places and, and in modern computers there's many many places to hide these things uh, that can, uh, for example, uh, report activity from the computer. Now, sometimes uh, some of the manufacturers have said, well, this is, you know, quality control. We want to know how the computers are being used and whether they're operating properly. You can believe that or not. Um, but if you are uh, working in, in, you know, very sensitive areas, you probably don't want that. Um, so, uh, you know, we, we have to know, we have to identify what, in fact, can we trust. Now, the other area is that, unfortunately, the manufacturers 
pretty much universally have taken this this concept of trusted computing and have tried to use it as a marketing pitch and and so they have uh sometimes had um uh you know used that term used a uh, trusted computing platform um for components of of their own for example at one point microsoft was in in their literature saying that the trusted computing platform was in fact the win login for windows nt and you know that's um that was not the original intent that has nothing to do and, and it's far at a far higher level than than we should be uh trusting the computer in terms of trusting computing platform um, so, uh, there were proposals for trusted computing modules, which, uh, had to do with, uh, sort of hardware-based, um, uh, signing of, uh, uh, the, uh, uh, firmware on, on the computer and, and, uh, issues like that and, and whether or not, you know, you would, you would layer, um, the operating system on top of that and everything would be signed and would be checking and, and so on and so forth. And unfortunately, the implementations of these were not necessarily trustworthy. So um, a, an awful lot of uh, uh, marketing degrading the terminology. Um, now, in addition, um, we've got a related uh, concept here. The trusted computing platform, um, in in at least the early days, would uh, you know be the the hardware and <laughs> in the days when you could trust hardware, and um, the uh, the basic kernel, the the security kernel of um, the uh, the operating system. Um, and so you would you would know that this was trustworthy, this was tested, this was you know uh, safe and, and reliable, and so on and so forth. And um, there there came to be um, again a concept. This is this is a concept, and it's not something you're going to find on any computer called the reference monitor. Now the reference monitor, um, and this is. Uh, really uh, tied to to access control. If you have some entity that controls um, all accesses uh, of subjects to objects, then you have a a reference monitor. You 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 know that whatever uh, the entity is that implements the concept of the reference monitor. And sometimes this is, is not on a single computer. For example, um, object request broker architectures um, will, uh, in a sense, be uh, implementing this idea of a reference monitor on a network basis. So, um, you know, there is that. But you, you won't find any component, or you shouldn't find any component in an operating system that is named the reference monitor. Uh, that uh, it's a, it's an idea, it's a concept, um, and uh, you know there can be something that implements it. Now, sometimes you don't have it. For example, um, uh, Windows. Um, any any window um, is allowed to send a message to any other window, and and that is. Uh, you know, a, a message can be a command or a request. So, um, you know, that uh, doesn't pass through any kind of mediation, and, and therefore there is no reference monitor on, on Windows. So anyways, you know, trust and computing platform, the, the reference monitor concept, these are concepts, um, and un unfortunately they're difficult these days because they have been degraded by their uh, use in, in marketing.